Glamour, style, fashion. To some, clothes are just fun, but for Anna Akbari, they have the power to transform. Confidence is something that is significant now and always has been. If you feel on top of your game, everyone else is going to notice. To help others channel the force of fashion, Akbari found Closet Catharsis. I use that name because essentially what we're doing is we're working with your wardrobe, we're working with your image um, to have a very emotional and psychological effect. Akbari's approach to image consulting is anything but cookie cutter. She looks to understand what makes her clients tick. It's about finding a very cohesive, um, repeatable formula that works for you with your body and your context um, that appeals to your target audience. Akbari calls it a personal uniform. She encourages her clients to wear variations on a theme to brand themselves with a signature look. Fashion designers will do this a lot. They're not looking to reinvent the wheel every day and it's very effective for them. So I try to encourage a lot of my professionals to develop that for themselves. Two years ago, Jennifer Deere, who runs her own marketing company, came across Closet Catharsis. I have a lot of moderately conservative clients. So um, she really wanted to help me understand what made me look polished and um, successful. Deer had been sticking with the dress for success formula of suits, but at five feet two, they were overwhelming her. It wasn't until one day I walked in a store and some woman yelled out, um, wow, and I thought I was tiny, and then it hit me, and I started looking at my reflection, realizing, with other people walking by, realizing, oh my God, I really am small. Akbari took her suits away and had Deer buy dresses and jackets that fit better. Our perceptions of ourself are so different than the way the rest of the world perceives us. So in order to get our best visual, our best impact, it does help to have somebody that really understands how you probably come across. The makeover worked for Deer. She says she no longer has to try on multiple outfits before stepping out of the door. I actually feel that when I walked, walk out, I have a polished look, which is a great feeling, confident. Akbari, who has a PhD in sociology, says her image consulting business aims to hit the fashion sweet spot. It's really always about a blend of individuality and conformity, and you want to have a combination of both. Although Akbari would be the first to say clothes aren't everything, she also knows they can't be ignored. As much as we like to want to say that we're not superficial, we do often dismiss people based on an appearance. Projecting your aspirational self is largely about competence, and that is subtly but very poignantly picked up on by your audience. And the confident you, Akbari believes, is a better you. You want them to take the time to invest in getting to know you. And that's really what we're looking for, right? We need to be given the opportunity to demonstrate you know, what we know, what our capabilities are. Or as fashion icon Coco Chanel once said, dress shabbily and they remember the dress. Dress impeccably and they remember the woman. For NYU Tonight, I'm Clara Yang.